What's up, YouTube? We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming today for a very special message for you guys. You guys know if you've watched the channel for very long, I'm pretty hard on y'all, man. Uh, a lot of times I talk mean to y'all and, uh, you know, kind of poke at you for being fat and out of shape and maybe not accomplishing the things that uh, you should be accomplishing in life. And I want you to know I do that because I want to freaking stir something in you. I want to get you fired up. I want to get you thinking about the fact that you are more than likely not doing the best that you can possibly do today or just in your life in general. So today I want to talk to you guys about uh, how to set goals and how to accomplish those goals and why that's important, all right? If you guys remember back when we first started the channel, we used to do a little segment called Backyard Conversations where I talked to you guys uh, about stories uh, of my life and told you all kinds of you know, things that had happened and funny stories and cool stories and sad stories and all this stuff. And the interesting thing is all of the stories that I have right now are a, are a direct result of me choosing to set goals in my life. Uh, and all the stories that I will have in the future to share with you guys and hopefully make you laugh or, uh, or, or maybe help you out in some way, shape, or form, all the stories in the future are only going to be made if I choose to continue to set goals for myself. And for a lot of you guys, you're, you're not happy with your current situation in life and you don't have a lot of cool stories and and fun things that you can look back on and uh, for, for most of you the reason is because you haven't chosen to set goals on a regular basis in your life and I've been there before too by the way there was a big portion of my life where all I did was just uh, every single day I woke up and and I was just focused on putting out the fires that day, right? Doing what I needed to do just to survive that day. And, uh, and I didn't look ahead, right? And, and project where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. And so that can cause a lot of problems. If you're just going through life and all you're thinking about is you're in survival mode. What are the fires that I need to put out today? And that'll lead you nowhere, man. That'll lead you nowhere, I promise you. So I'm going to share with you guys my goal for this year at the end of this video, but I want to go over some things real quick. When I look at setting a goal for myself, what kind of, what categories does it have to hit for it to be considered a legitimate goal that's probably going to produce some sort of lesson or some sort of story uh, or some sort of memory that's really going to be meaningful to me and to others throughout the rest of my life. And the first thing is uh, when I set a goal for myself, it has to be something that I'm not ready for right now. All right. If I choose to go and put something on the calendar that I know I could accomplish, I can't categorize that as a goal, right? So it's got to be something that I know I'm going to have to commit to. Uh, there's got to be some buy-in to it, right? If I know I'm not ready for it right now, that means that uh, I'm, I'm going to have to make an investment, more than likely in training, uh, in time, uh, maybe equipment that I need, maybe learning a new skill that I don't have currently, or, uh, or really polishing up a, a skill that I haven't used in a long time. So that is extremely important. The second thing uh, for it to be a goal, for me to consider it a goal for myself, it has to scare me a little bit. And that is in a little bit, as some sort of way, tied in with the fact that I'm not ready for it. It has to scare me a little bit. I have to think, whew, you know, even if I do all the things right to get ready for this, I still might not accomplish it. And so if the goals you've set for yourself uh, don't scare you, you can't really consider it a goal. That should be a foundational element or part of the equation. And the third thing is my, uh, my goals have to be something that 
get, it has to be something that gets me excited. It has to be something that I care about. That's, uh, that's meaningful to me. Um, it, it, it doesn't need to just be random, right? It doesn't just need to be random. And so those are the three kind of key elements. If, 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 you know, if I choose to do something and it hits all three of those categories, I know that, okay, this is the goal for me. And once you kind of find that thing, probably the hardest part for most of you is going to be making the commitment to doing it, uh, making the commitment to make the investment that you're going to need to make in order to be ready for whatever that thing is, uh, putting it on the calendar, um, doing your research, uh, and that's that stops a lot of people, man. It's probably has stopped you in the past. I know it stopped me in the past. Uh, but when you commit to a goal, you should take it extremely seriously. And your mindset should be that you're going to accomplish it uh, regardless, or you're going you're gonna to accomplish it at all costs, essentially. Um, and that's always been my mindset. And whether it was the initial goal for me as a young man to become a Navy SEAL, or whether it was the goal to run my first 100-mile race, or my first 250 mile race, or my goal to start a business. All of these goals I'm listing right here, they all hit all of these categories. Um, or to do my first bike packing race, whatever it is. Uh, <clears throat> and that's another thing you should consider in setting goals. A lot of people will go and accomplish something like maybe a hundred miler, and then they just stick with that year after year after year. Well, it's no longer a goal. If you've, if you've accomplished it, um, it's really no longer a goal. Now, you can make it a goal to go and win uh, a specific race or something like that, so you can tweak it. But just to go and finish it, um, you have to continuously build upon your goals is what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, you have to seek new things. You have to seek harder things, uh, longer races, um, uh, bigger goals with your business, uh, more challenging things as you progress in life. Uh, that's, that's just the way it works, right? So my goal this year is actually to ride the Colorado Trail Race, which is a, a mountain biking, an unsupported mountain biking race that follows the Colorado Trail from Denver to Durango. It's about 520 something miles with over 70,000 70, feet of climbing. And uh, most of the race is done at elevations above 8,000 feet. Uh, and it does pass through some, some areas or some mountain passes that are, uh, I think, right around 14,000 feet. So about 25% of the people who sign up actually finish every year. So my longest bike packing race to this date was the TNGA, which was 370 miles. And it was right here in my backyard, right? Georgia, where I was born and raised. Didn't have to deal with altitude. I knew the environment. I knew the weather. Uh, but it was really, really hard. But I got it done. And so the reason I've chosen this Colorado Trail Race this year is not only is it longer by about 200 miles, uh, longer than my <clears throat> my previous bikepacking race, but it also has components in it that uh, are going to force me to train harder and to, uh, to learn and to really leverage uh, my knowledge and my skill sets in order to get it done. And those elements are obviously weather uh, above tree line uh, in that environment and the altitude and just to a totally different type of terrain. So again, I said there's a buy-in. There is, man. I have to start training for this right now. The race is in August, and Lord willing, I'll get in. But uh, I have to start training. I have to get the equipment that I need set up to get this thing done. And um, all of this stuff has to start months and months in advance, right? You're never going to achieve any big goals if you're not willing to commit to something a year out. And, uh, and begin that process. Because the big goals, the things that are really hard to achieve, uh, the things that, that you're not ready for, that you should be 
you should be going after, those are going to take a lot of preparation. And so you have to be willing. I've been looking at this Colorado trail race for over a year. And, um, and that's where I'm at. And that's my big goal for the year, guys, in terms of personal goals. So I want to encourage you guys today to start thinking of something in your life that hits those, uh, those three things. You're not ready for it. It scares you a little bit. But at the same time, it gets you pumped up and gets you excited. Um, for me, the Colorado Trail Race, I'm so excited about going out and seeing new terrain, a whole new part of the country, getting to see the best of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado on my bicycle all in one go. Uh, I'm excited about the, the challenge aspect of it and the, the new distance and what it's going to be like pushing into that. So a lot of excitement for me around that. So find something, man. Put it on your calendar. Stop living life in a way that you're just trying to survive. You're just trying to put out the fires day by day. It's going to cost you something. It's going to take an investment. It's going to have some buy-in to it. But at the end, it's going to produce the most valuable thing that you can ever possess in this life. And that is a, a story to tell. It's going gonna, it's gonna to produce fruit. No one can take your lessons from you. No one can take your stories from you. And, uh, and they become your most valuable possessions if you will just get out there and do things to create them. Hope you guys got something out of this. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Enough said.